Another Bucky's video? What's the big deal with these guys? Well, there's only one way to find out. Keep watching our video and see. Welcome to Bear Facts, where we explore the Smoky Mountains one bear fact at a time. So some of you have already seen a lot about Bucky's, especially since the chain just opened yet another one of its massive gas stations right outside of Pigeon Forge off of Route 40 in Sevierville. This much anticipated location finally opened in June 26 of 2023 and was well received. So much so that you might see many videos and blogs post about it all over the place and many of you might be buckied out. But wait, we here at Bearfax, we want to do things a little different. I'm not going to talk about their world famous beaver nuggets or massive selection of beef jerky, which they do have, but rather look at the store as a whole and give you information we were able to find out about them. Let's start with defining what Bucky's is. It's a giant gas station. Okay, so it's a lot more than just a giant gas station. It's also a rest stop, a grocery, a convenience store, a hot food quick eats, a clothing and shoe store, a home decor shop, a one-stop shop for all your oops, it's so-and-so's birthday, I need a quick gift kind of place. Did that cover everything? Oh, it's also a car wash. To sum it up, it's the Walmart version of a gas station. This comparison is justified as Bucky's also has many of their own brands that they sell, much like Walmart. And Bucky's is well known for their own brand of products from soft drinks, beef jerky, to Bucky's Beaver Nuggets, which has a massive fan following. They also have their own line of clothing, toys, home decor, and other non perishable items. When you walk around the store, you are surrounded by their brand and products. The beaver follows you everywhere. Before I move on to give you more fun tidbits about Bucky's, if you're enjoying this video, please help out by hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel. Each click helps our channel to grow. Anyway, for those of you who enjoy a little fun facts with their YouTube, here are some fun facts that I could find out about the company. The first fun fact is they're based out of Texas. And at the time of this video being published, the 45 locations open in the US, 75% uh, are still in Texas. The second fact is that the first Bucky's was opened in 1982 in Clute, Texas. The name and mascot were inspired using the owner's childhood nickname, Beaver, and the name of his Labrador retriever, Buck. And they were also heavily influenced by a toothpaste brand. Yes, you're hearing me right, a toothpaste company, Ipana. Though the toothpaste company is no longer around, their influence is very easy to find in the naming and the design of the gas station's own logo. When you compare the two logos, you can see similarities. The company has gained such notoriety that they're already dealing with knockoff Bucky retailers using their logo and business model to get customers into their stores. You'll also see people buying their products and reselling them for marked up prices online. Since Bucky's doesn't sell their own products online, this has made some people a lot of money. Now, if you're from the north or even the west of the Mississippi, you might be wondering who or what Bucky's even is. I know that before arriving in Sevierville, I had never heard of the company, let alone was willing to pay upcharge prices online for their beaver nuggets. And what the heck are beaver nuggets anyway? That just sounds weird. But I'm from up north and we just don't have Bucky's up there, so it made sense that I couldn't understand the draw. So we had to try one of them out. There are actually two locations in Tennessee, one in Crossville outside of Knoxville, and now the newest location is in Kodak, Tennessee, right outside of Sevierville and Pigeon Forge. It just made sense to head over to the newest location, touted as the largest gas station in the country, at least at the time of the opening, but with 120 gas pumps and 74,000 square feet of store frontage, it was the obvious choice to try out for the first time. And to be honest, I was overwhelmed and in awe of the place. It really is big and a little intimidating. I mean, where do you start? 
There are so many things to look at and try from their hot foods, coffee, to their jams and other random canned items. And the beef jerky selection is really overwhelming. It's worth it to stop and just see as the staff are making hot foods and sweet treats for guests as they watch or go to the bathrooms and just see what all the hype is about. But how did this company get to the place it is now? How did they gain this reputation and grow to the size? Well, you do have to give the owners some credit. As already pointed out, the first Buckies poured their concrete and pumped their first gallon of gas in 1982 in Clute, Texas. The face and co-owner of the company, Arch Beaver Applin, started the business with a strong business model in mind. His goal was to go big or go home. And with a Texan spirit, he did just that. Each store he's put up is bigger than the next, providing the every possible need for the weary traveler could have. One of the highest priorities for Bucky's is their bathrooms. Let's just say that the U.S. isn't known for high quality bathroom rest stops and comfortable stalls for privacy. Believe it or not, other countries are appalled to discover the two foot chasm at the stall floors and the wide gaps on either side of the door. For us, this is normal. Not appreciated, but normal. However, at Bucky's, you're not only provided a large selection of toilets to choose from, but privacy. Yes, you heard me right. The stalls have full-size doors that give you the illusion of actual privacy. But even more important is the company's drive for cleanliness. Bucky's has an excellent reputation for being very clean and fully stocked. These stalls are maintained with the highest standard any public bathroom can expect. And did I mention there are no gaps around the doors? <gasps> a bathroom with no gaps? That is clean and well maintained? Unheard of. But bathrooms are not their only priority. Oddly enough, when establishing the business, Alpin and his business partner Don Wessick also wanted to provide inexpensive ice. Now, for those of you who don't travel as much, this might seem like a strange focus. Most of you will understand the need for clean bathrooms, but cheap ice? Why would that be a top of their list things to offer? Well, if you've ever done your fair share of traveling, you'll understand, especially before the invention of plug-in coolers or the $500 Yetis that keep things cold for longer, that ice is actually pretty expensive. On average, when we travel, we spend up to $30 to $40 in ice alone to keep our tiny cooler ice cold. The average cost for a small bag of ice is between $3 and $4 now, and most of the time, we need at least two bags a day. This can get pretty pricey, and you can rack up the bill real fast on ice alone. So when we went to Bucky's for the first time, that was the first thing we saw. Their ice price was half, if not a third, of what other gas stations and stores charge. When Applin talked about his success and business model in an interview in Texas Monthly, he pointed out there's no magic to success, but rather hard work, consistency, and smart accounting skills that made his business succeed. And if you go to any Bucky's around the country, you might see that there's something to this. Bucky's is highly popular, so much so that traffic control is sometimes needed when a new Bucky's is opening in an area. And Bucky's also needed to make sure that they have viable traffic plans and to present to the county that they're trying to open a new store in. The concern over traffic and how to control it has even caused some Bucky stores to be put on hold or completely denied due to the volume of traffic that one Bucky store can generate. So there is more to Bucky's success than just cheap ice and nice bathrooms, though that is a super great selling point. The chain has also created a highly recognizable brand and expanded that brand to appeal to not only adults but children as well. By targeting a wide audience with fun plush toys, t-shirts, pet supplies, travel gear, seasonal items, and so much more, the company has created a demand for their own products. By the time you leave the store, you could have stocked not only your refrigerator with all their brands of foods and drink items, but you could have also decorated your bedroom, filled your closet as well. I mean, who doesn't want a cute plush Bucky's beaver stuffed animal or a pair of beaver socks, PJs, and a keychain? 
and your puppy will be styling in his new Bucky-inspired outwear. That's how much Bucky products you can find there. To be blunt, Bucky's has very successfully created an easy to recognize logo and plastered everywhere on every service of their store. This bombardment of their brand is an excellent marketing strategy that seems to really work. By the time I left Bucky's, I had a collapsible dog dish, a magnet, and a bag of turkey jerky with all the beavers' smiling faces beaming up at me. That little guy is everywhere you look. And though this marketing campaign might seem over the top, it actually appears to be working. Bucky's has created a product that people are excited about and willing to travel to get to, or even pay jacked up prices online from eBay or other resellers. By not selling online, they have created a classic demand and supply shortage. People can't get their products, so in theory, the supply is in demand. Another reason that this kind of marketing strategy works is that they're selling 10 to 15% of all their products from in-house. Like many stores that have their own brands like Walmart, their profit margin is much higher by doing this. This savings in theory is passed down to the consumer, allowing the Bucky's brand to be less expensive than the name brands. Thank you Walmart for showing us how that works. But all this success does come with a price. Not only does it cost millions of dollars to open each Bucky's location, but these stores can also be a burden on the cities and counties they pop into. The biggest issue being the traffic. This might be one of the reasons that Bucky's doesn't allow large trucks access to their facilities. Bucky's allows only cars and recreational vehicles. Not sure about buses, but I didn't notice any signs about them or signs of them, so I'm not sure. However, semi-trucks are not allowed. For some people, this is a relief as there is a stigma associated with trucks, drivers, and truck stations that have permeated throughout our society. A reputation that has some merit as truck stops can be a major hub for human trafficking and other criminal activities. So, Bucky's has tried to avoid that element of society from their image by not allowing any trucks. Does it prevent crimes? Absolutely not. Crime happens anywhere you find people, but many people are more comfortable with this setup and it also alleviates the issue with traffic that comes with or when cars and trucks are navigating one small area in high volume. But there's another growing concern about places like Bucky's over consumer consumption. Not just at Bucky's, but as a society as a whole, with all the inexpensive merchandise being overproduced and shipped from overseas, it puts a strain on our natural resources and produces a great deal of waste. Bucky's appears to pay well and help local economy, and the need to grow and prosper is important, but this still leaves us in a bad situation keep growing bigger and eventually suffer the price or stop growing and deal with the fallout of the lost jobs and bad economy. Unfortunately, we really don't have any good answers to this dilemma. Either way, Bucky's is still growing and has really begun to expand their operations. Each store is bigger and better, offering the everyday traveler an excellent rest stop, good comfort foods, lots of gas, cheap ice, and best of all, clean bathrooms. If you plan on passing by or traveling by one of their stores, I would suggest giving it a try just to see what all the fuss is about. As always, if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for visiting us at Fairfax of the Smoky Mountains.